Hey guys, just before the video starts, I wanted to just have a quick discussion with you guys. If you could leave a thumbs up on the videos, that would mean a lot to me. It takes two seconds and it helps me out a lot more than you think. If you could please also subscribe. I post Street Fighter content like almost every single day, every second day at least, if I'm busy. I'm trying to get through the stories, getting some ranked matches in. I want to try and doing some combo trials. I even want to check out the um, special matches because I haven't seen many of those. But yeah, I've seen a lot of you guys like watching my videos, but no one's subscribing. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong, to be honest. Obviously, as I keep doing this, I'll get better and better at it. But yeah, if you please subscribe, I'm trying to hit 300 subs. Once we hit that, I'll set a new goal. But yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy the video and uh, yeah, enjoy. All right, let's do Kimberly's story. Let's see what she's about. Let's see if she is related to Guy or not. Oh, I like the blue one a little bit more, you know. Yeah, fuck it, let's go for the blue one. Uh, five stages, three rounds, nine, nine timer, and we'll just keep it on normal. One crazy coincidence kicked it all off. There was this weird formula on an internet math forum. And well, long story short- Hey, look, wait, Guy's in the back. Wait, what, who's, who's in the back? That's Zeku. I don't know if she's related, but she's definitely inspired by them. Solved it. When I finished, someone by the name of Xiao Bing sent the DM my way. So obviously I'm thinking, what code? And let me tell you, what came back had me totally floored. You're not going to believe this, but there's a code that combines this formula and the national language. Nice shotly. For real? Talk about blindsided. Hmm. The country of Naishal and I... We got a bit of a connection, you see. My uncle was a great guy. He always looked out for me. And well... He died after getting caught up in some trouble over there. The code I cracked that day was the start of it all. That's how I, ninja star Kimberly Jackson, made my first step on a journey to discover the truth behind what went down in Naishal. You know what's funny though? Initially, like, from what I just saw, it seems like Kimberly is Chun-Li in a way. You know what I mean? How, like, her father, Chun-Li, right? Her father dies. Bison kills her. And she became a detective to find out what happened. Yeah, so Chun Li's father died, and Bison did it, and now Chun Li is trying to. Oh, she ready, you know. Want and now, same thing with Kimberly. Her uncle died, and now she's interested and in, to see what happened and solve the mystery. I guess maybe who killed her uncle. She wants revenge, maybe if she finds out. That's actually really interesting, though. So Kimberly is, is just the next generation Chun Li, really. I forgot to ask read the thing but oh well so i mean obviously that means our rival's gonna be jp because if you've seen the jp story you know exactly why bruh i really i don't know anything about Kimberly. you know what let, let's have a look one second let me let me just have a look all right so yep tatsu all right so it's the sprint it's just the forward tatsu oh, okay and then you have buttons to stop oh wait maybe we can um wait do we have any more grenades I had to wait, go away. There we go. Wow, I really know not nothing about Kimberly. Wow, what's up with her? She's scary. Like legit scary. I think more crazy than scary, but I think so, yeah. So pretty much Chun Li is just sorry, Kimberly is the next generation's Chun Li. Which is kinda interesting. Because it kinda seems like they're building a whole new generation. Kind of what Earth Strike intended to do, but I guess now it's a bit more welcoming because there's also the World Warriors. I think honestly, if Earth Strike included the World Warriors initially, it would have been a lot better on release. I mean, obviously Earth Strike is seen as one of the better games now, but initially it really wasn't. I think this, this is what this game is trying to do, which is honestly pretty cool. Like they include old characters and they also try and have a new generation story because like Kimberly is now Chun-Li, Luke is kind of like the new Shoto. He's got like the DP. He doesn't have Tatsu though, so maybe not. He's got a fireball of some sort. I don't know. I might be completely wrong, but that's just what I'm thinking. But nothing can replace the original uh, eight warriors, was it? Yeah, eight of them. Did that kill? No. There we go. Yeah, honestly, I apologize for the Kimberly gameplay. Honestly, like the stories so far have been very underwhelming. A few of them have been actually quite good. I think this one might be interesting as long as the uh, last two cutscenes aren't bad. Like the, the first one we just watched was actually really interesting. I mean, obviously after this, our rival's gonna be JT, 100%. All right, 
Let's see. Uh, well, you're definitely tough, but my Bushinri tech saw me through. Yeah, JP. I mean, we figured that much. It's been a long road. I've met a lot of people and kicked more tail than I can keep track of. As much as I'd love to gush about my adventure, that can wait for another time. First things first. There was this guy, right? I think he's the one who's been pulling all the strings. May I help you? Yeah. You know Al Jackson? He used to work with you. What a picture of JP, by the way. Holy crap. He was my uncle. And I'll have you tell me everything you know about him. Johan Petrovich. Well, well. Yeah, so JP is essentially Kimberly's bison. So this is just the Chun Li Chun Li bison dynamic, just with the next generation. Don't know if JP actually killed her uncle, but it seems most likely, honestly. Otherwise, I don't know who else would have would have killed him. I really hope the final casting is underwhelming, man. If it is, I'm gonna be so disappointed. Oh, he keep being away from the grenade. What a bitch! And JP's so annoying. Oh my god, nothing. You know what though? As annoying as JP is sometimes. Oh my god. I was gonna say, as annoying as JP is sometimes, and like, he's been one of the more difficult bosses for me personally. Nothing competes to Alpha 2 Bison. Or Alpha 3 or Alpha 2 Bison. Oh my god, I struggle. On the hardest difficulty, Alpha 2 or Alpha 3 Bison. I can't remember which one it is. Holy shit, he's a bastard. There we go. Alright. Let's see the quote and let's see the cutscene. My uncle died in the incident, I swear to you. I'm going to find out what really happened. I won. But it sure didn't feel like I came out on top. I beat him, but it's like I was the one on the ropes. There are few things more dangerous than unwarranted confidence in one's abilities. Were I you, I would endeavor to forget what transpired today. Farewell, Ms. Jackson. I didn't manage to get anything out of him. Of course you didn't, because these stories don't manage to give us any information about anything. Oh my god, One man. thing I did figure out, though, is that I'm not nearly strong enough to chase after a monster like that. Hm. Seems like this ninja star still has a lot of training ahead of her. Oh my god. Why do they, they always do this, man? Always. Every story Thanks they've done this. Play. Every single one. They've left us on a... It's not even a good cliffhanger. It's a shitty one with no information, man. That's pretty cool, actually. I really like that. <laughs> you got the classic um, Street Fighter 2 boss in the background with, like, like the Bunda TV. Nostalgia, man. Wow, man. That's so annoying, honestly. I'm actually... It's... Uh, uh, it started off so good and then it just ends so badly man i think uh, right up until this point my favorite one is still either zangief's one or ken's one ken only because it alludes to violent ken but other than that zangief's one was the best in my opinion it was funny it was entertaining it gives into the like insight into the future these ones are just so underwhelming man like they start off really good really enticing and really like like i want to see what happens and then they just suck. We know nothing about her uncle. We know nothing about who killed her uncle. We know nothing about what she's gonna do about it, except train, which is obvious. It's a fighting game. Everyone's gonna train. I'm very, very disappointed. I think this is the one thing that, that Capcom fumbled is the stories. Honestly, I think SF5 had better stories. SF5 stories were much better than this. Even SF4, man. And that had barely any cutscenes. You had one at the beginning and one at the end. And some of them were like, not even three seconds long. Predictions, I think. Kimberly will honestly lead out the same destiny as Chun-Li, figure it out, get revenge, and then be happy. Or maybe another thing is she wants to train. Maybe she's going to meet with Guy eventually. Guy will be future DLC and she'll meet with him and then they'll train or Zeku potentially. Um, but other than that, I don't really think anything else will happen. I'm just disappointed, guys. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy um, and subscribe if you're new around here because I'd really appreciate that, trying to hit 300 subs. A lot of you guys haven't been subscribing and I'm, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.